So here I, uh, I have a golfer who struggles with similar tendencies that a lot of, uh, a lot of golfers that I see um, every day on the golf course. And what that is is uh, real loss in power and loss in, consi in consistency. And the reason for that is you'll notice right about impact, you can really see uh, this golfer's left arm really breaking down. And consequently, she's really pulling everything in and she's losing out on her rotation and extension on the way through. Okay, um, so what we're going to do now, we're going to take a look at a drill that we did with, with this specific golfer. And um, this, this drill is something that a lot, of those, a lot of you golfers out there can really benefit from. So as I take the golf swing back, we're taking about a quarter back, okay, maybe even a little less than a quarter back. And what's important here is that the club head is much lower than the hands at your takeaway. Okay, so about a quarter of what the takeaway is. Now, as she brings the golf club through, her goal is just past her left foot for her grip to be on top of her club head. Okay, and what that's going to do for you golfers out there, and again, this is a really good drill for a lot of you, especially during the off season. Uh, and what this is doing is the back of the right hand is stays bent, and the top of your l the left hand stays flat. Okay. But again, the goal is that she gets the club, head, the grip of the club to be, if not under the club head, just in front of it. And again, that's the feel. So now when we go to the actual swing here with a golf ball, uh, what you'll notice here is as she swings through, oh, that's the old one, excuse me. As she swings through the ball now, this is with a golf ball, same drill with a golf ball. You'll notice how her arms have changed. And then at the last minute, you can really see that right foot start to change and the right hip start to change. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to show you a comparison between the two shots. Okay, so um, what we have on the right hand side is the before, and we'll bring that before to the follow through. There we go, and the new one's on the left. Now, if I was to show you a down the line version of this, you can really see clubs in the same spot. Look at how this left arm on the right hand side of the screen really is, has that what we call a chicken wing out there versus on the left hand side, that's not the case. And then secondly, if I showed you from the other side of the screen, this really shows you the structure um, of the lead arm versus on the right hand side, obviously that is a significantly different arm and then what we do is to validate this is we look at the weight shift where on the left hand side we have 88 degrees uh, 88 percent in your in the left foot versus 62 percent so this is a much more efficient golf swing going on on the left hand side and obviously pictures don't lie um, and we really see a difference in the extension and how that right hip is really chased up and what i mean by that right hip real quick is and this could be a little bit more obviously um the, the player on the left, we're, we're gonna, you know, with with lessons to come, this is certainly something we'll focus on. But you can see if, if I drew a, pic, uh, a line down from the right pocket on both sides, there is certainly a remarkable difference, as well as the right shoulder, okay, which is even behind the right hip. And if we draw that same line over here on the left hand side. Um, sorry about the the darkness of the uh, of the photos, but. Um, I think you can really understand this uh, pretty clearly. And this is something that you can work at home if you struggle with this.